welcome, my name's Ali A. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm here in the beautiful, sunny LA. The Call of Duty Championships have just finished, so congratulations to all the teams that entered uh, and earned some money. There was a million dollar prize pool, so it's absolutely crazy. Uh, but during the finals, uh, Infinity Ward actually showed off the Devastation DLC, which is going to include, of course, four new maps. We've had the Ripper weapon already, and also a new streak, which is the Predator, which can actually go invisible. Looks amazing. I wanted to share this with you guys before I jump back on a plane, back to the UK, and start making more videos for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So there we go guys, a very cool look at the second map pack. Devastation for Call of Duty Ghost is going to be coming out on April the 3rd on Xbox around about a month later for all the other platforms. The intro of this video was filmed at LA when I was at the COD Championships, which was a lot of fun. I'm now back home, didn't have a chance to edit this video before I left, so I wanted to do a little bit more of an in-depth look at this. And I wanted to cover, first of all, the awesome Predator, which looks absolutely sweet and you guys are excited for it, so I thought I'd talk about it a little bit more. You can clearly see the claws on its right arm and then of course the weaponry on its shoulder, the weaponry within the film was like an auto locking um, uh, weapon which was very very effective and I'm not sure if both of the melee weapons and then of course the weapon on its shoulder will be usable within Call of Duty Ghost but I hope it will be. It is only available with the Predator on this map here, Ruins, just as Michael Myers was only available on a single uh, DLC map for the first map pack. We do not know how the Predator is unlocked, we do know however that there is a field order already on Ruins which is the ability as you can see here to set off the volcano. So either the Predator is another field order that can be unlocked um you just have a chance of getting it when the care package comes in or it's unlocked in a different way via a easter egg which would be very very cool and it could actually be quite hard to unlock on top of that we saw a very very first initial teaser on Call of Duty's Instagram that showed off the Predator 
and he was actually invisible. Um, when that was actually released, I was actually on the plane to LA, so I didn't have a chance to cover it. Um, but it looks like the Predator's going to have lots of abilities. However, within this trailer, we then have seen that the Predator isn't invisible, so it hints at the fact that the invisibility is even an effect you can turn on or off, or is an ability that's sort of like activated in some way, so it looks very, very cool indeed. Next up, we have another map set on this huge sort of excavation site. Um, which seems to be quite linear in terms of it's just a sort of straight map. You've got one side, a middle, and then the other side with the big sort of spinning rotor blades cutting away at the mountain that you're sort of digging away in as well, which looks very, very cool indeed. All of these maps, of course, have their unique um, field orders as well. And uh, if you complete a field order, you have a chance to get a very cool sort of streak or ability. Uh, you saw that within all the other maps that are available on Call of Duty Ghosts and within the very first DLC package as well. And we get a little bit of a look within this here as well. Here we get to see a throwing knife one on one. The first guy absolutely fails and throws it off to the left and doesn't actually get a hit, unfortunately, uh, which results in a kill here. Doesn't really link in too much with the DLC, but it's quite a cool cinematic, I guess. Um, we didn't actually show it there, uh, but the street you can actually get is the ability to go on a helicopter with a big minigun and actually shoot down on the map. Um, so it's very, very cool indeed. Next up, we have another map here, which does have a similar field order, which is actually the ability to go inside um, uh, a big uh, actual aircraft, which actually then shoots down on the map. I believe we do see it within this trailer um, and looks very, very powerful indeed. You just spray down as you fly over the map and it, it seems to cause a lot of devastation and a lot of effect on the map. So it looks like you could be getting a lot of kills with that. Just there, we saw a very brief glimpse of a red uh, Call of Duty goes Scarlet. Whenever you see those on the map, it normally means that you can actually destroy that part of the map to unlock a new route. Here you can see the actual um, uh, field order in action. As you can see, you don't seem to be too, don't need to be too accurate. Um, you could see the sort of highlights of the enemies on the map, but you, this person just shot, literally shot at the ground. It seemed to cause enough de devastation and enough attack to actually kill the enemies. Uh, so that should be very, very cool. Next we have Unearth. Those of you guys that don't know, this is a dome remake. I predicted this dome remake. Quite a while ago, it is happening. It's a little bit different this time. Uh, this is built on sort of like a construction site in terms of its aesthetics and how it actually looks. And there are a few new things. You can actually get um, the extinction weapon from the very first DLC package on this map. Uh, we don't know how that's going to be unlocked. I assume that would be an Easter egg. I don't think you'd be able to get that as a field order, but maybe you could through the care package. Um, however, we know that the uh, definite uh, field order on this map is the ability to get three aliens that sort of like become your personal guard dogs that run around and try and find enemies and when they find them they basically self-destruct so I guess if you're against them you want to shoot them as soon as possible so make them explode and then they'll be risen off the map very very quickly now the Ripper we get a look at here quite an in-depth look but of course I've already covered it here on my YouTube channel because it was available early to all of the guys on Xbox with the season pass I'd assume that if you're on uh, PC or PlayStation with the season pass you'll be able to get it earlier than the rest of the guys on your console without the season pass so you look out for that very very soon it's an awesome weapon I've done a best class setup video with it I've done lots of live commentaries with it it's an absolute beast it's a hybrid between the submachine gun and the assault rifle uh, I like it in its submachine gun mode here uh, with the iron sights and it has a nice sort of green red dot when you move into the assault rifle uh, sight as you can see here as well. Uh, there's also the new extinction map which is going to be covered within this video as well. It does look insanely impressive so even if you're not massively interested in um, uh, extinction mode definitely check it out at least uh, here because it looks very very awesome indeed. But let me know what you guys are thinking of A the Predator which looks very very fun but maybe overpowered. We're going to have to see how the invisibility thing works out um, and also the new maps and the new field orders that are available as well. Now finally here we are getting into the second extinction map called Mayday. We got a little bit of a teaser of it at the end of the first DLC extinction map and it's set on this ship. There were just huge, like absolutely ginormous aliens on this map, which generally like sort of scared me when I saw it. Uh, the idea of this sort of huge alien creature being on the ship, attacking it, and also being underwater is very, very crazy indeed. Now, there isn't a specifically new weapon within the extinction map this time. It's actually uh, the weapon from the very first extinction map called the Weaponized X, I think it was called. Um, and this time you can actually change and interchange the ammo. So it's a different color and has different effects. So it's more of sort of like an upgraded version of the weapon that we saw within the first map which is quite cool 
We do get some glances at some of the new aliens. You get the tentacle here. We get some of the uh, aliens actually come out the ground and start shooting um, uh, pellets at you, which can be quite powerful and sort of act as like alien turrets. Here we get a look at the rhino again, which is always uh, a bit of a beast if you've ever played much Extinction. And there is a little bit of a teaser as well in terms of the massive, absolutely huge underwater alien you can see here, which just scares. Look at it. It's massive. It's absolutely huge. Don't know how on earth you're supposed to take that on, but it's going to scare me to nothing when I'm going to actually play it. It's going to be that absolutely crazy but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video let me know what you think of this new dlc it's gonna be out very very soon and this week of course all of the content will be covered here on my channel first for you guys so definitely check that out i look forward to using the prayer towel hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and i'll see you very very soon